Gaya ng nasabi ni uh, Chief Axa Cesar, uh, ang ating pumala pastor ay nasa Kuwait. No? So, I think they had a good uh, celebration last Friday night. And uh, they will also be having their cheerful giving conference. So, let's continue to pray uh, for them. Uh, I would like you to turn your Bibles to the 10th chapter of the books of Acts. Since ang topic po natin ngayong March is about the good soldier of the Lord, I chose uh, a chapter with one of its protagonists as a, as a soldier. In fact, he, he was a centurion. No? Uh, pag sinabi po natin centurion, under his command is at least a hundred uh, uh, soldiers. So yan po ay walang iba kundi si Cornelius. Allow me to read the... Uh, uh, verses 1 and 2 of this uh, chapter, and then we'll try to read the, the other verses as we go along. Uh, chapter, Acts chapter 10, verses 1 and 2, it says, There was a certain man of, in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band, a devout man and one that feared God with all his house, which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God all the way. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much, Lord, for this privilege of uh, uh, preaching your word. I ask, Lord, that you give me clarity of thought and the fluency of speech as I deliver your message this morning. Uh, may you hide me behind thy cross. May the Holy Spirit work mightily in everyone's heart, and at the end, Lord, may the Lord Jesus Christ be glorified and magnified. May you bless the preaching of your word, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Be seated, please. Muli po magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Thank you for coming, especially to our uh, guests, our friends. Uh, I hope that you will find blessing out of the preaching of uh, the word of God this morning. Um, ang books of Acts or otherwise known as the Acts of the Holy Spirit, uh, dito po makikita natin ang early church history. Okay? And uh, in the early, uh, the early days of Christianity were very exciting as we see the Holy Spirit moving mightily no? in, 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 in the hearts of the Christian. And conversion were, were, uh, were happening no? left and right, both Jews and non-Jews. And that is the uh, context of the the uh, of chapter 10 uh, that we have just read, the verses 1 and 2. But uh, you see, uh, even even the previous chapter, makita natin sa Acts chapter 9, how that uh, uh, the great ap- apostle Paul, no, si, uh, the time ang tawag sa kanya, Saul. No? And pag, uh, before he got converted, before uh, uh, the event in Acts chapter 9, si Saul or si Paul was among the those that have, uh, are feared no, among the persecutors of the church, na talagang pinipersecute niya ang uh, early uh, Christians at that time. But uh, when he met the Lord Jesus Christ in the, uh, along the Damascus Road in Acts chapter 9, that was when he was converted. So pati yung pangalan niya, na dati ang pangalan niya is Saul, it was changed to, to Paul. Now, in um, Acts chapter 10, we see probably one of the very first uh, conversion of a non-Jew, no? Si uh, uh, Cornelius po, as we have uh, read, is a Roman uh, centurion. He commands a soldier of at least a hundred. And but iba po yung ano iba po yung uh, situation ni ni, ni uh, uh, Cornelius. While he was a Roman uh, captain, he was well loved, but even by the Jews. No, why in verse two it says he was a devout man. Okay, he was a very religious person. One that feared God with all his house, which gave much alms to the people. So tumutulong siya, very charitable, and prayed to God always. So even though he was a Roman centurion, he, even though he was a Gentile, even though he was not yet saved at that time, nandun yung uh, religious fervor, nandun yung uh, uh, puso niya na makilala ang Panginoon, pero hindi niya kilala. 
Okay, so he he has the heart of uh, that that seeks af, uh, after God, but uh, he didn't know who God is. But he is a moral person. Uh, he uh, help people and he prays a lot. Okay. Now, uh, makita natin dito that uh, uh, in, in verse 3, no, it says that he saw in a vision evidently about the ninth hour. Pag sinabi natin ninth hour sa book of Acts, that's about 3 p.m. in the afternoon. So, around 3 p.m. in the afternoon, an angel of the Lord came to him no, in verse 3 and told him, Cornelius, send, send uh, two of your uh, messenger and one, one soldier to... Uh, to uh, uh, fetch uh, uh, Peter. Uh, Peter at that time was uh, uh, living with uh, li living in the house of uh, 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 of Simon the Tanner. Pag sinabi nating Tanner, ito po yung nagko-convert ng balat ng hayop sa leather. Okay? So at that time makita natin si si Peter, medyo ano na uh, uh, nag adapt na to the uh, non-Jew uh, tradition. Kasi pag, pagbabasahin po natin sa Biblia, pag Jewish ka, hindi ka pwedeng lumapit sa may mga dead na animals. So, yung tannery na yun, doon yung nagko-convert ng, ng mga, mga balat ng uh, hayop uh, sa, sa, sa leather. So, he was living in Joppa uh, uh, for, uh, uh, in the house of Simon, the tanner. So, makita natin yung context nito that uh, he, here comes uh, Cornelius, a very religious person, seeking after God, but no, no, not knowing who he is. No? So, one day, uh, uh, the Lord sent an angel telling him, magpadala ka ng dalawa sa inyong mga messenger. Sumahan mo rin ang isang soldier sa bahay ni Simon the Tanner and look for Peter and ask him to come with you and visit you. So, yan po yung context ng... ng ating uh, uh, chapter ngayon. Uh, so, as I've said, uh, Cornelius is a very religious person. Okay? But while he was sincerely uh, looking after God or seeking God and doing good deeds, he wasn't a Christian. He doesn't know the Lord Jesus Christ. Sa, sa ating mga panauhin ngayon, maybe uh, you are a religious person. And deep in your heart, you're prayerful. But do you know the God of the Bible? In, uh, the, the, in the Philippines, we are a very religious person, no? a re religious country, I mean. And all of us will have our own religious perspective. But do you, know, do you know the God of the Bible? Do you know where you're going after this life? Do, do you know Christ as your Lord and Savior? So uh, deep inside Cornelius, he knows that there is something missing. Merong, merong vacuum that uh, no amount of charity no amount of good words, no amount of prayer can fill. And that vacuum can only be filled by the Lord Jesus Christ. He knew, he knew that left to himself, he didn't know where it's going. No? Alam niya na kung siya ay mamamatay, okay, hindi niya alam kung saan siya patutungo. Yes, he might have his own religion at that time. He might have his own belief. He might be good in the eyes of other people, but deep inside him, there is still that vacuum that only God can fill. See, in our, in our daily life, no, we are, right now we are so much busy with all the affairs of life, no? and we, cannot, we can even say, look, uh, in so far as uh, uh, religion is concerned, in so far as the Bible is concerned, in so far as church life is, is concerned, that can wait. Because I'm so busy. That's not true. Okay? All of us are given 24 hours. And God is the one who designed that 24 hours. I'm sure when he designed that 24 hours, he knows that we can have time for him. But it is us who keep ourselves too busy with, with things that are not really important. Diba? So, God designed the day to be 24 hours. I'm sure he designed it in such a way that we will have our quiet time with him. I'm sure that he designed it away in a way that we will have enough time to read his word. Diba? He cannot be, because he, he, he's the architect of life. The same thing with our giving. Okay? He designed it in such a way that kahit papaano, 
makapagsimula tayo in terms of tithes and offerings, it will start with small things. As I've said during my testimony, I started with giving 10 pesos, 20 pesos. And the, when the Lord sees that you're faithful, then He will enlarge your capacity. But He designed things that will allow us to worship Him even in our giving, in, even in our Bible reading, even in our prayer, because He designed it. So to our visitors, to our guests, you may have a vacuum in your life, but you're trying to fill it with other things other than what ought to be, and that is the Word of God. Okay? Try to ask yourself, okay, you've been chasing for your goals, and it's not, it's not bad to be ambitious, and you ought to be ambitious, right? you ought to set goals. But don't, don't uh, fill your whole life with mundane or earthly things and in the process forgetting that you need God. Okay? Because at the end of the day, when you are at the end of your life, you will have to, to answer that question, where will, your li where will you go after this life? Okay? Regardless of your age, ngayon, di ba? whether you are in your 80s, 60s, 40s, in your teens, you can die. Di ba? Set a goal in this earthly life, but don't forget the basic. Okay? Where will your soul go after this life? And this is like Cornelius. No? Kumbaga, ano na siya, eh? uh, in fact, this, in this context, no, he is about to leave Caesarea and go to Rome. And that's why the, the conversion of, of Cornelius is, is very, very strategic because that is part of spreading the gospel. He himself was a devout person. No? I'm sure he's busy. But he finds time to pray. Ansevian, di ba? Okay. What more of us? We claim to be believers. We claim to be Christians. Okay. Uh, do we pray enough to, to, to Christ, who, who we consider as our Lord and Savior? In Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, it says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and, and if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and sup or dine with him and he with me. To our friends, to our guests, the Lord is constantly knocking at the door of your heart. Pero siyempre, if, the, if our heart is filled with, with earthly things, no? with, filled with telenovela or K-pop or whatever, it is so busy, it is so cluttered with unnecessary things that the Lord, the, 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 the voice of the Lord seems to be very, very, kumbaga, uh, hindi mo marinig. Because your, your, your mind, your heart, is so filled with other things other than the things of God. But the Bible says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. The Lord is knocking at the door of your heart this morning. And the, the Lord says, there is that vacuum in your heart that only I can fill. Don't ignore me. I'm knocking at the door of your heart this morning. Let me in. And that is precisely what, what happened to Cornelius here. So while, while uh, uh, he, sent his, he sent his messenger and the soldier to, to fetch uh, uh, Peter, si Peter naman, nagkakaroon siya ng vision or trance, no? So uh, in in verse uh, in verse nine, okay, it says here that he went to the house top. Siguro meron siyang rooftop, no? About the sixth hour. So six hour is twelve noon, no? And then he became very hungry. It says in verse ten, and would have, would have eaten, but while they made uh, ready, so habang pinipepe yung pagkain niya, lunch time na kasi, he fell into a vision trance. So what, what, what did, he, did he see? He said, Does, he saw heaven open and a certain vessel descending unto him. So may isang vessel, sa kanyang vision, may isang vessel uh, bumaba mula sa langit at sa vessel na yun are full of uh, what they called unclean uh, uh, animals. These are four-footed beasts of the earth, wild beasts and creeping things and fowls of the earth. Now, sa, sa Jewish tradition po, meron silang mga hayop na hindi kinakain. Hindi sila kumakain ng baboy. Ba? Hindi sila kumakain ng, ng uh, uh, mga isda na walang kaliskis. Like for example, yung dalag, hito. Okay? Uh, 
Marami silang hindi kinakain. Nasa, nasa Leviticus po yan. At uh, uh, so nung nakita ni, ni, ni Peter yung vessel in his vision, his vessel coming down from heaven and offering him to eat this unclean thing, sabi niya, Lord, I'm not eating that. Okay? You know I'm a Jew, I'm not eating that. But then Peter said, or, or the Lord uh, said in verse 15, it said, What God had cleansed, that call not thou common or unclean. So sabi ng Panginoon sa kanya, Peter, what I have cleansed, you don't call that unclean. And this happened three times. So he was, Peter was thinking, bakit kaya nangyari to? The Lord knows that uh, I'm a Jew and I don't eat those four-footed beasts and those things that he commanded in Leviticus. No? And this happened three times. And, and, and the Lord was telling Peter, whatever I declared clean, you should not call unclean. So the, you see the, the change now in, 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 in the approach. No? Because at this point, the, the, the gospel is now open to the non-Jew, to the Gentiles. No? So he was, he was basically telling Peter, Peter, be ready because I'm sending you to the house of Cornelius, a, a non-Jew, a Gentile, for you to spread the gospel. Because at the time, the gospel was, was being uh, limited to the Jews. No? But here, uh, uh, Peter was being prepared by, by the Lord because he will be sent to the house of Cornelius uh, to, 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 to share the gospel. So the, what happened is the, the, the messengers... And the, uh, accompanied by a soldier, uh, went to his house, no? looked for him, and then, and then uh, the following day, Peter went with them. But what happened here in verse, uh, uh, verse uh, 20, 27, okay? or 25 and 26, no? uh, makita natin dito what happened. Uh, when Peter went into the house of uh, uh, Cornelius, no, siyempre, kilala ni Cornelius si Peter, one of the leaders, uh, if not the leader of the, the, the apostles. No? In, in, uh, in verse 25, it says, And as Peter was coming in, Cornelius met him and fell down at his feet and worshipped him. So, siyempre, pagano si Cornelius, nakita niya si Peter. Sinalubong niya at lumuhod. At he began worshipping Peter. So here, Peter corrected, corrected him in verse 26. He said, but Peter took him up, okay? uh, and then he said, saying, stand up, I myself also am a man. So what is, what, what is the Lord Jesus Christ telling us here? You see, worship is something that is limited and ascribed only to God. Okay? We don't worship even the saints. We don't worship even angels. They will refuse worship. If we worship, begin, begin worshiping saints and, and angels, then that's idolatry. And that is offensive to the God of the Bible. So here, he, he started teaching uh, 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 Cornelius no? the Christian way. No? Not because uh, a, shelter, a certain uh, individual is uh, big time in the religious circle, that he should be worshipped. Sabi niya dito, sabi ni, ni Peter, I am also a man, stand up, don't worship me, I am also uh, uh, a man. So, and then, as we proceed, uh, you see, Peter confessed that he is not that comfortable because it is the first time that he is uh, uh, visiting a uh, 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 house of a Gentile in verse, uh, verse uh, 20, uh, uh, 27 and 28. says, and as he talked, with him, he went in and found many that were come together. Kasi inimbita ni Cornelius ang kanyang household, yung mga, uh, I'm sure, pati yung mga soldiers niya, inimbita niya. Because this, he is excited to listen to, to Peter, what he has to, to, to share regarding the, the word of God. In verse 28, he said, And he said unto them, Ye know how that it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company or come unto one of the another of another nation. Uh, but God had showed me that I should not call any man common or unclean. Sabi niya dito, you, you know, I'm not comfortable. Sabi niya, you know that it is not lawful for a Jew to come into the house of a non-Jew. Bawal yun eh. Okay? But sabi niya, 
now I, now I understand okay, those visions that uh, were repeated, repeated three times are meant to tell me that I should come to this house because there is a purpose and that purpose is to share the gospel. See? And this is basically what Romans chapter 10 verse 14 and 15 is telling us believers. Right? How shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how they shall believe in whom they have not heard? And how they will hear without a preacher or a witness? Hindi lang preacher yun eh. It's a witness. So this is basically what, what uh, uh, Peter uh, was mentioning here. No? While, while uh, Cornelius was eagerly seeking after God, there is no way he can really uh, understand and believe in God without the preaching of the Word of God. Diba? Sa, ating po, sa ating po mga bisita, maaaring meron kayong pagka, konting pagkakilala sa, sa Panginoon, pero hanggat hindi nyo nakikilala ang Panginoon ng Biblia, ibang Panginoon yung winoworship nyo eh. There's only one God, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. There's only one way, there's only one truth, and there's only one life, and that's through the Lord Jesus Christ of the Bible. And I hope and pray that today, this morning, you will come to know him as your Lord and Savior. Okay? There are different Christs. Even the Bible says that at the end times, there will be different Christs. There's so many Christs of religion, but there is only one Christ of the Bible, and that is the Christ that we are preaching this morning. I hope and pray that at the end of this preaching, of this message, when we give you the invitation, with humility and humbleness of mind and heart, you will come in front and receive him as your Lord and Savior. So here, uh, we see the Peter no, uh, preaching the word of God, the gospel to, to, to the house of Cornelius. Okay? And it says here in verse um, Verse 34 says, Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of person. Sabi niya, Now I know that God has no bias. Okay? Whether you are Jew or Gentile, there is no bias. No? Whether you are Jew or Gentile, all of us needs, need the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. Kahit na, kahit na ikaw ay... Uh, anong status mo sa buhay? Whether you're rich, you're poor, before God, we're the same. Whether you're intellectual, you, whether wala kang pinag-aralan, before God, you're the same. We are all in need of a Savior. Okay? Whether you're young or old, walang pinipili kasi wala din pinipiling kamatayan. Eh. Diba? Sabi mo, bata pa ako. Okay. Mahaba pa buhay ko. How sure are you? And maybe the reason why you're here right now, because God wants you to know him through the Bible. And God is giving you the chance to know him as your Lord and Savior this morning. In, 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 in verse 35, it says, But in every nation he, he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. And the word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. And then he, he emphasized here, he is Lord of all. So he's, again, introducing the Lord Jesus Christ to, to Cornelius. Okay, and then, so he, he proceeded on, on, on uh, telling about, about the Lord Jesus Christ in verse, in verse uh, 39. He, he said, and we are witnesses of all things which he did both in the land of the Jews and in the Jerusalem, whom they slew and hung on a tree. Him God raised up the third day and showed him openly, not to all the people, but unto the witnesses chosen before God, even to us who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. So he was emphasizing that Christ, of that, that Jesus Christ, while he was crucified at the cross, okay, he died at the cross, but after the third day, he rose up again, and he showed himself to the apostles and to the disciples, just to emphasize to to, to uh, uh, Cornelius that we have a living God, okay? that the Christ that he will receive is a living Christ, no? that he rose up and conquered uh, death. No? And then it says here, uh, in, 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 so while he was, he was telling that, you see the Holy Spirit in feeling the, the, the listeners. No? That means to say that the, the, the listeners got saved uh, on that day. Okay? In 
in, in, verse, in verse 44. It says, While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all of them which heard the word. And, and they of the circumcision, so yung mga, yung mga Jew na narinig, nalaman nila, uy, bakit pati yung mga Gentiles okay, receive the infilling of the Holy Spirit? How come even the Gentiles are able to receive Christ as their Lord and Savior? Kasi kala nila ang, ang, ang gospel is only for the Jews. But here, okay, they, 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 they saw that, that the, uh, uh, even the house of Cornelius uh, did receive the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And on, the, uh, on that day, even, no, they got baptized. It says here in verse 47, Can any man forbid water that this should not be baptized, which have received the Holy, Holy Ghost as well as we? Verse 48, and he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord, then prayed them, him to tarry certain days. So see, here we see how that the Lord used uh, Peter to be sent to the house of Cornelius to, to share the gospel. And you see how that Cornelius, even though he is a religious person, is still in need of salvation. Okay? And he, his, his, his uh, yearning for God was sufficiently satisfied when Peter went to his house and preached the gospel of salvation. And that has been the blue, blue, blueprint of, of, of the word of God. For believers to be ready witness to, who, to, 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 to those that are unsaved. And among us believers, we, I'm sure we have unsaved loved ones. No? We should constantly pray that, someone, that the Lord will send someone to our loved ones for them to hear the gospel. And maybe that someone is us. It's you. Maybe we, we, we should not wait for someone else, but it's us to, to share to them the gospel. And sometimes uh, sharing the gospel means also living, a, a, living out a new life. Uh, living out a new life. See, in, 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 uh, here in, in this chapter, we see Cornelius as a very good example of God's willingness to use extraordinary means to reach those who desire to know, to know him. But Look, we don't need to have an extraordinary event like an angel appearing before us to, 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 to go to somebody else to share the gospel. Ba? And to our visitors, you don't need to wait that, that the angel will, will appear unto you to, to, to say, come and receive the Lord Jesus Christ. No, because everything is done through the preaching of the word of God. And that is why you're here. Okay? The, the Bible is preached so that you would know you using the God-given intellect that, uh, that you have, that you would understand that you need the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? That there is that need in your heart that only, only Christ can feel. He, the Lord does not play favorites. No? He does not hide from those who want to find him. And God sent his son because he loves the whole world, and that includes Peter, includes Cornelius, and uh, us. To our visitors, as I end this short message, there will always be a big vacuum in your life, as I've said, that only Christ can fill. I hope you won't delay, okay, because you don't know the time. I hope that this morning, when we open the invitation later on, you will be like Cornelius, okay, hungry for the word of God, would like to know Christ as your Lord and Savior, and would receive him as your Lord uh, and Savior. If you come to Jesus Christ, uh, this morning, the Bible says in John chapter 6, verse, verse 37, that he will not cast you out, okay? and that he will forgive you for all your sins, and that he will make you into a new creature. In 2 Corinthians 5.17, he said that all things will pass away, and all things will become new. That is if you, if you receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior this morning, and I hope you do. Okay. Shall, we go, shall we stand up, please, as we go to the Lord in prayer? I would like everyone to close their eyes and bow down their heads. Before I close in prayer, I would like our visitors to look into their hearts. Okay. Look into your heart okay, and ask yourself, what if I die today? Where will I go? With all the things that I try to achieve, all the things that I try to learn, 
and all the things that would, I would like to enjoy and fill my, my life with. Okay? Is there a place in my heart for the Lord Jesus Christ? Okay? You need Christ this morning. It is he who can save you. It is he who can, for, who can forgive you of all your sins. Siya lang ang pwede magpatawad ng iyong kasalanan. Siya lang ang tanging namatay sa krus ng Kalbaryo para sa iyo, para sa akin, upang magkaroon ka ng kapatawaran ng iyong kasalanan at ng buhay na walang hanggan. This morning is your opportunity. Same thing that Cornelius was given his opportunity. This morning is your opportunity to know Christ as your Lord and Savior. For a while, look into your hearts. Okay? Huwag mong pakialaman yung katabi mo kasi yung katabi mo hindi kanya matutulungan kung nasa impyerno ka na. Okay? For this moment, be serious. Okay? Assess your life. If you die this morning, where will you go? If you don't know the answer, Christ is the answer. But you need to be humble enough to tell him, Lord, I am a sinner. I cannot save myself. I am lost. This morning, I want to ask for forgiveness. I want to repent of my sins. And I open my heart to accept you as my Lord and Savior. If that is your desire this morning, when we sing the invitation song, you can come in front and one of our counselors will open to you the word of God and show you how you can receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. Same thing as Peter did to Cornelius. He opened the word of God to Cornelius and Cornelius gloriously saved. And that, that can happen to you this morning. When we open the invitation, and if you are humble enough to receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. Shall we pray? Father in heaven, may you bless this invitation as we give. And I pray, Lord, that the Holy Spirit will uh, work in the hearts of our friends, our guests, and that uh, they will realize their need of a Savior this morning, and that they won't hesitate and they won't be ashamed to come in front. These things I ask in Jesus' name. Amen.